In this lesson, we are going to practice using conditional formatting. So we have um, people that live in Bikini Bottom, and these are the scores they got on their different tests. They took a math test, a science test, a social studies test, and a language arts test. So there's just four things that we're going to do to this data set. And the first one says text wrap the text in cells D1 and E1. So if we go to D1 and E1, we can click and drag over both of them if you want. And then up on your toolbar, you're going to see text wrapping. You can click on that. And you want to click on the center one that says wrap. And when you do that, it'll wrap the text so that it fits within the cell. Number two says use conditional formatting to make all grades greater than 89 have a green background. So I'm going to click and drag just over the grades. And after I do that, I'm going to go to format, then down to conditional formatting. And then, so I have my, my range right here. So it's B2 to E7, and that's what we highlighted, B2 to E7. And it, right now it says format cells if not empty. Well, we want to do greater than. So we're going to scroll down until we see greater than. And then the value is 89. So anything that's greater than 89, is going to be green in color. So I'll pick a, one of the shades of green. And if that was the only um, conditional formatting that we were doing, you could click done. But we're going to add one more rule. So let's click add another rule. And for this second rule that we add, we are going to uh, go to less than. So anything less than, and we want to type in 70. So below 70 is a failing grade, so we're going to type in less than 70. But this time we're going to pick a shade of red and then click Done. So you'll notice I accidentally made two uh, rules, conditional formatting rules over here. The top two are the same. I can just click on this trash can to remove one of those rules. Uh, so now I just have two. So when I look over here for conditioning, conditional formatting rules, value is greater than 89, it's going to be green value is less than 70 it will be red so I can close this out now and now if I look at my data set anytime one of these characters took a test and did better than 90 or better than 89 it turned green in color and anytime they did worse than a 70% it turned red so number four on here says Sandy retook her language arts test and got a 95 the second time change her grade from 55 to 95 so I'm gonna to go to Sandy and her language arts test and she had a 55, I'm just gonna type 95 instead and hit enter and we'll see what happens. Right now the cell is red. When I type in 95, it turns green because that value is greater than 89. Uh, if you have completed these four questions, you may go ahead and submit this assignment.